Hello, welcome back to Science Gaming, and today we are continuing right where we left off. Kind of, but not really. Um, as you can see, I have made a lot of changes. Um, if you look in the top corner, I have a lot more colonists. I am now in the good, in the clear for food. And uh, yeah, I expanded this berry farm a lot. Finally got to the point, a lot of berries, uh, where we're actually produ mass producing them at a good rate, uh, which is nice. And right now I'm currently expanding this area. Uh, now that I have a surplus of, uh, of food, we can now basically um, look into getting research and uh, basically easing the life. Uh, yeah, easing life. In fact, one of the things, I, since I have 50 colonists now, exactly 50, I can actually expand my base, which is going to do wonders for my defense, because uh, uh, my defense has been lacking pretty bad against the zombie horde. Um, so I need to make it better. Uh, but right now I just want to finish blocking this guy off real quick. Connect it to the main base. Allow the ability for a colonist to go in. Um, and uh, yeah, so now we have land that we can work with for flax farming and um, wheat farming. But we need water first. Um, so we want to uh, definitely get that done. So... Uh, these science labs are what's needed in order to... Oh, I also expanded the top floor. So we have more place for beds because I completely f uh, filled up the bottom floor. Um, so yeah, uh, for now, I'm just going to plop these guys down here. Oops. Boop. Um, and we're going to start researching water gathering because that will eventually let us to get uh, bread, uh, which gets more food. But it's also a pain in the ass to make. But you know what? It's, it is what it is. So we are going to uh, get a bunch of copper nails and a bunch of copper parts and a bunch of copper, a bunch of copper tools because we've got some dudes making copper and a bunch of yeah a lot more nails. Um, so we should be able to finish this research pretty simple. Yeah, there we go, pretty fast. Um, we got the planks, uh, berries. Oh yeah, we have so many berries and copper nails. Yeah, we can start that science too. Um, we do not have bronze ingots, but that's fine because that requires the furnace, which we're going to get later. Um, so yeah, uh, once we get water, I am going to dig a channel uh, from the nearest lake over there directly towards our base, hopefully. I'm going to follow this line right here. Aha, science is complete. So water gathering, uh, when I complete it, bread unlocks. So what do I need for bread? Berries? Yeah, I got that. Uh, I need 10 of those and 5 of those. I can start that science next uh, after we get flax farming. So let's just follow. Oops. Straight. Ooh, got flax already. That was fast. Complete. Uh, Taylor. We, we won't get too many sciences because we do need to build the infrastructure to get them or else you're just uh, wasting resources. Um, so we're just going to follow this line because I would like it to basically just go in a straight line until we reach water. Uh, bear in mind that these do have to be too deep, otherwise zombies can actually get under your base. Um, which, you know, it's not a good thing. This is going to be interesting trying to figure out until uh, when I get there. Okay, so I will be with... Ooh, bread got done. Okay, uh, complete. So now we can build bread. And in fact, barley farming me. Ooh, we just have enough tin for that. Uh, sure, let's do barley. Barley, I'm getting all the mass-produced stuff that you need large areas for because we finally have that huge chunk that is very good for um, large areas of uh, farming. Uh, so yeah, um, we will eventually need to build an, or an orchard, arch, orchard or just a tree. How close are we? Not very. Uh, boop and boop. Okay, we're almost there. Keep in mind though that this is pretty much... Oh, hello. Yeah, so this is uh, a thing. Interesting. 
that this is the water level at my head. So I do probably want it to go down a few. Because, uh, which I can do pretty simple. Okay. Where am I at? Okay. Perfect. I somehow managed to magic that. Uh, because this is right now a great level for, um, like, I actually want the base to be this level because, first of all, there is really easy to, to mine and um, stuff like that. So we're going to want the water level at some point, probably when it reaches uh, here, to drop. And I want it to drop too. Um, this is so that zombies can't get in, and at the same time, uh, it's at a good level that we can start getting water. Okay, and I can fill this in as needed. Uh, let's build a nice area for this. And I'm probably actually going to have to head up because the slingers are fighting and uh, I don't know how s what strength level they are at, the zombies. Oh, and it's dark in here. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, back up here because I don't want them to sneak in. Uh, I also built this little snaky snake uh, so that basically it kind of leads them can't really see either okay uh, fix this like so boom okay so the water should go down and then flow like so. The water physics is a little weird. In fact, I should probably get rid of that because that means I could technically walk down this very long hallway to get here. But they can't get in. Okay, never mind. Uh, whatever. I'm just making stress out of nothing. Okay. So in today's episode, what I wanted to focus on was uh, mostly just expansion and uh, hopefully getting food and stuff uh, finished. So... Um, I will, ooh, hello, oh yeah, and expanding for beds and stuff like that. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to clear out, yeah, I only want it to end here. Uh, I w I'm going to clear out the, the basement so we can get some water gatherers, because we're going to need a crap ton of water gatherers to get water for bread manufacturing. Uh, once I get bread manufacturing, then uh, we should be pretty much good to go. I heard damage, which means zombies are in the base. Nope, okay. I lied. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Oh no! I was, someone's dying. Uh, uh, uh. Aha! Oh wait, that won't do anything. Oh, frick, 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 frick. I don't have any weapons. Uh, quick, hide the colonists. No, why are you? No, no. Oh, this is depressing. This is very depressing. Oh, shoot. Oh, I respawn. No. <laughs> I'm losing all my colonists. Uh, block that out. Okay, so that should. Uh, okay, I probably need one of these. Actually, one of these. Oh, I died. Shoot. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's important. Uh, this is why I need better defenses. And all my people are dying. And I can't hit that dude. It's just killing my dude. I just killed my colonist. <sighs> did I run out of stones? I did run out of stones. 
lockdowns. No freaking wonder they died. Okay. I somehow survived that because I had excess food in my storage tank. Okay. Calm down. We did it, guys. We survived. Okay. But yeah, I, I seriously need to have one of these guys sit down and uh, have this set as my max priority and have at least 500 of those suckers in. Uh, actually, I want two of them. Okay. Oh, okay. We are, we're okay. I'm glad we have excess food. Uh, I'm going to go back to doing what I was doing. So, uh, I'll see you guys once I have finished this uh, water channels and stuff. And we're back! Okay, so now I have completed... Um, let's see, I got enough stones. I also increased uh, the number of slingers we got, so we should be good in defense. So hopefully that won't happen anytime soon again. It will happen probably again at some point, uh, but uh, this time... Oh, crap, I forgot. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I thought. That was a mistake. Oh well. Uh, but now that the bottom has done, as I just quickly showed you, we can run to the lake and uh, let release the water and uh, see what happens. Let's uh, just do this. Next to boom got nice water flow uh, hopefully this should be good hopefully we shall see da -da -da. let's check the water flow okay yeah I can see it there let's hope it goes down like down and then down two and then keep going not down one not two and then flow down one yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, it's doing that. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now, uh, I built it like this so that... Oh, that's, that's not what I wanted. Nah. Boom. Okay, so that uh, these guys will be facing this way. Like, the, like uh, these the, this way. And then these guys on this side will be facing this way. Uh, so basically, it allows uh, for me to put them onto both both sides. This guy will be just facing this way, unfortunately. Um, actually, I, I should probably get rid of that. Um, so we can get another dude here. Basically kind of wrap around. Um, and then I can expand this way when I actually... I could. Uh, let's just do that now. Increase my radius. Uh, so I can expand that way and these two different directions as well. Um, so yeah. We are going to do this. What? Oh. Oh yeah, so now I got to a point where whenever I block it, it gets siege mode, which is... Uh, I actually don't know what is siege mode. Um, but honestly, it's probably not very good, <laughs> would be my guess. Uh, we are also going to make it so that um, the only way to get up uh, so that if I do activate siege mode, I can just activate it here. Uh, so the only way to get on top of this... Uh, actually, we'll get rid of this because it doesn't really matter. Um, this is all going to get just deconstructed now since I expanded. Uh, I'm basically going to build like a, a wall here for now. Uh, that will allow my, me to put my slings along this edge. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. Um, I do have a lot of stone now, which is really nice. I don't have to do stone mining anymore. Uh, plus, the nice thing about having miners is that technically all this resources is infinite. So, uh, you know, I'm not restricted to, speaking of miners, uh, strict restricted, like if, if I was mining, if I broke these blocks, um, I wouldn't get anything from it. I can just get a tin miner because we have no tin. Might as well get more tin. Um, we are not crafting buckets, so there's no point in getting. And we don't have wheat, which is a 
later problem once I get enough beds. So that's my my goal right now is to to get some um, beds going. We've expanded our colony quite a lot, actually, pretty fast too. Uh, it's really nice when happiness isn't an issue. You can expand pretty fast, uh, but if you have happiness, then it, it like I said, it slows down the rate of which you can expand. Um, plus, expansion is, is 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 the fun part. Ooh, actually, I'm out of straw, which means I need wheat farming pretty desperately at this point because I can't make more beds without wheat. So, using the ten dues that I got, let's go to food, go to wheat. And we're going to map out uh, the biggest sized area that we can. I think a 9 by 13 would be working. 9, uh, 12 by 8. Yeah, let's do 12 by 8. I think the max size is 100 for these guys. So 96 isn't bad. Okay. 96. Actually. So I can either do this. Or I can move it over one. Hmm. No, I kind of like this. Yeah, let's do this. Because there are some smaller things like beekeeping that I can fit in that little slot perfectly and uh, use that space mo more effectively. Uh, let's throw in. I just need a bunch of these. Um, down the middle. Down the middle. Mm. Actually, I like those there better. I like that there. Might as well. Okay. Um, we're going to need it on the same f for the other side. Uh, I'm just making a crap ton of wheat because, uh, honestly, flax isn't super important. I'm probably going to have a few flax... Um, plots, but okay. I believe it was twelve by eight, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I know this. Is, it's this way. Twelve by seven, eight. Nope. One, two, three. Twelve by eight. Right here. There we go. Um, and they put, and I put it right here, here, and like. So, there we go. Um, let's throw down a, ooh, I can only do one more. So let's do a, ooh, I can't. Oh, a flax, flax farmer. Let's put down a flax farm. Right there. Uh, and now I got to wait so I can get some straw so I can continue my colony. Uh-huh. Let's see, what else can I do in the meantime while I wait for that? I, I guess build up, uh, make this actually look nice. Um, uh, at least a little bit. Oh, hey, that's not what I wanted. Cool. Needed a bit. Alrighty. Um, hmm. Okay, I do have the expansion, so I can get rid of all this. Okay, yeah, let's see if I can, uh, let's knock down all this, and, uh, shoot, I want this to be three high. Now, too high? Yeah, I want it to be three high. Okay, let's see. Um, all the way down to the edge, which is here. Like 
like so. Uh, now this is completely cut off like so so this is what I want for the defense now I just have to make it so that it is climbable uh, I want it to be able to start here like so ah perfect that looks good okay so now I can basically take my um, guards nighttime slingers and do that. That is what I want. And, uh, ooh, can, does that work? Actually, that does work. Okay, nice. And it perfectly aligns. Now, if I can put wood right here, we'll be golden. Oh, yes, it just doesn't look great, but it definitely works. So that's all that matters. Because uh, I want to use as much space as I can um, for any other floors. Uh, for the next floor and for the bottom floor as well. I'm trying to maximize the space. Um, basically, I can now technically do this on this side. Um, I think, at least. Yes, so it's going to be... Uh, we're going to break this, however, because I do not want any... Uh, because I'm. it's turning nighttime. So, uh, oops, that's too far. So, on the off chance that zombies show up, uh, they have no access to the base yet. Um, before I do any major, this is on a side note, but before I end plan on doing any major expansions, I'm going to wait until I can basically build and destroy walls because, um, I can have these automatically built. I'm going to build probably the first, at least the walls up to the to the next level, but the actual dirt part that I'm going to need um, is going to be entirely built by the colonists, which you can do in this game, which is really nice. It basically takes away a lot of the, the not challenge, but it takes away a lot of the tediousness of building, which is always a win in my book. Um, I do love building, but like building large flat walls uh, is not fun. Okay, let's break, remove that, uh, remove that, and remove that, and then do one, two, three, and then take this and do this. What? Oh, okay, it's just slowly filling, uh, reassigning the jobs that have just broke down, whatever. We're looking good. Uh, the reason why I wanted it like kind of like this is because I do want probably to have um, this is going to keep extending as far as I can, uh, probably, uh, and I do want or maybe wrap around or have like two entrances like kind of go around like this so that way I can basically just have art. Uh, slingers all around the wall uh, and just kind of make the zombies have to like enter and enter this long elaborate maze um, however I definitely want them to uh, go around the entire base and have to attack a lot of slingers so basically build like a second wall here and all the way around this current base and have slingers and archers and whatever around it so that in order to get here they have to go through a lot of dudes um, and that's my plan and then basically when I build get further expansions outwards I can then just have those just be pure um, farms and stuff or whatever I need it to be Anyways, so now that that is all figured out, I can now break all this, and we are actually almost out of time. So, actually, no, we almost, we are out of time. So, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we didn't really do much in this episode, to be fair, and I apologize. We kind of just got uh, infrastructure set up uh, for a later game. Um, I'm hoping in the next episode to at least automate a lot of um, stuff and crafting. Um, 
and build up better defenses because I do not want to lose a bunch of my colonists again. Uh, so yeah, if you are looking forward to that, um, please let me know. Uh, if you want to see more of this content, okay. Yeah, I did something wrong here. Oh no, it's the same thing. Okay, yeah. If uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more work off camera, I'm basically fill in this wall, put up some lights, uh, probably build up the wall outside wall a lot uh, to do like I said up to four blocks because at this level I'm gonna have uh, dirt. Uh, we don't have enough dirt, and at some point I can actually start buying dirt, and at that point is when uh, I will be working on future floors, hopefully. Uh, I may have to do a few floors manually myself because, uh, you know, you need a lot of colonists to get to that point where you're basically ma uh, buying dirt and being able to build. That research takes a while and you need a lot of other things to get to it. Um, so, you know, I may end up having to be building my own uh, Uh, building up this second floor myself, I really don't want to because that's a crap ton of dirt, and that you know I don't have any really good place to get said dirt except maybe back there, but over there. But you know it, it's not fun mining yourself, and uh, yeah. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more of this content, leave uh, uh, please subscribe. If you want to see more of these episodes, uh, please leave a like and a comment, letting me know what you guys think. I love hearing what you guys say and uh, what your opinions are and your advice is always great so thank you all for watching i will see you guys in the next one bye bye